Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode where we find the coolest LEGO custom creations people have been building throughout the week anywhere around the world, and we pick out our 10 favorite. There's no particular order in the way that I show these builds off, and if you would like your own LEGO creation to appear at the end of the episode, there is a Fan Mocks section and in the description below, along with the links to all the different builds that I'm showing you this week, there's also the proper email to send your pictures into us. Okay. Also, this week, the uh, 1966 Batmobile was created and put up in our web store for the instructions that was built by the designer Sawyer. So if you haven't checked out our web store, it's definitely worth taking a look at. We add a new design every single week. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the very first build. Here we have a micro or midi scale fireball. This is the fireball from Star Wars Resistance. That's that new uh, animated, somewhat Japanese anime looking TV show and I just like to see that builders are already starting to create some of the ships out of Lego there's a bunch of new fighters and I haven't actually watched it yet so part of this is check out this cool build but also let me know if you've been watching the show if it's worth the time I'm always a little bit slow to warm up to new Star Wars shows and sort of extended universe stuff, but I am kind of curious because the ships, like this one, the Fireball, actually do look pretty cool. Now, the next build up in the lineup is Samurai Jack and Aku by Madoroku. This is a pretty nostalgic build for me. I didn't watch the entire series of Samurai Jack, but the animation style was pretty epic in my opinion, and there's just something so appealing about this flat brick stacked style that we have from the designer here. Jack is totally flat with just a little bit of extra detail detailing with some plates, and pretty much the same build style goes for Aku. I think the angles were captured quite well, the characters are super recognizable, but the fact that these characters are built so flat is, I think, a really clever nod to the animation style of the show. Madoroku is a designer I just discovered myself. Definitely he got a new follower on Flickr. Highly recommend you go check out his page. And then Arrow O'Kennon is at it again. This is Hans Langseth, who at some point, or maybe still actually, is the holder of the world record longest beard. I have a feeling this is an actual portrait of what this guy must have looked like, maybe based off a photograph, and it really is quite an interesting build. I think the expert level of the design for the figure is absolutely present, but it is kind of fascinating to see the gray beard uh, starting at the face being almost white and then getting a little bit deeper and darker and slowly but surely turning into a nice more vibrant color brown by the time you get to the end. It's a really interesting style with all of those one by two plates and also the face of the old man I feel like is quite expressive. This guy is super good at figures. I highly recommend you check out some of his other ones. I think he was featured actually quite recently, maybe a couple weeks ago. And then the next builder, Zed, has built something, once again, I believe still inspired from that Lego Harry Potter castle. I knew this was going to happen. We've been showing off a few other micro scale Harry Potter builds, and this next one here is absolutely awesome. Awesome. This is Gringotts Bank uh, during the scene, of course, when they're actually stealing from it and they've got the dragon uh, right up at the top. So you can see the vaults underneath with a little bit of the cave detailing and, and one of those chambers. But personally, I think the best part of the uh, build is certainly the structure for the bank because you can see the walls are not perfectly studded together. All of the columns seem to be shaking or wobbling out of place. And to get an effect like that to look that good at that small of scale is probably really difficult. It looks amazing, and the more I personally build with my own micro scale creations here in the studio, the more appreciation I have for these small scale little uh, Lego creations. Jumping up to the very next build, this is I Scream Clone. Now we have another Sentinel, and this is a really cool one. It isn't a massive Sentinel like we've seen before. This is Wolverine versus the Sentinels, by the way. That's the name of this build, so you can pretty much tell what's gonna go down. This is based off of what they looked like from the comic books or maybe even the animated TV show. And personally, this is, I think, my favorite Lego Sentinel out there. There is another massive one that was really, really big, but these guys are built at, I think, a more manageable scale, and the detailing doesn't 
lack at all. They look very poseable. The light up functions are awesome. And if you compare this to the Sentinel that came out in a Lego set, uh, well, there's, there's no contest, but really this is just an amazing looking Lego brick built figure in general. I can't believe this guy actually made three of them. If you've been keeping count with the mocks going by, this is number four, counting down to one in the uh, selection. We have Dilbert and Dogbert by Grubbala. This was a relatively simplistic comic strip, at least in terms of its animation, but the characters seem to have been captured really, really well. I like Dogbert and Dilbert's eyes made from the tire pieces. If I had a guess, maybe those would be the seed pieces for these characters. My three personal favorite build choices from this mock are the curved one by two slopes for the hair, Dilbert's upturned tie, and then we have that interesting little white panel piece that has just small enough of a gap to fit the screwdriver or some type of tool that makes up the pen for his shirt pocket. That is a super expert little touch. And now let's check out a robot. Specifically, this is the Lego Robot Mark 1601 TT by Mitsuru Nikaido. Mechs and mechanical beasts are this guy's specialty, at least that's what it looks like when you take a closer look at his flicker stream. And this is probably one of his most poseable uh, Lego built characters that I've had a chance to look at. I don't see any discernible underlying frame of a skeleton for this. It really does look like this guy's just built brick by brick through every single aspect of uh, the arms and legs and torso. Often when you see a character like this, there's usually some type of technic underlying structure that things are just attached to, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. So I'm super surprised that he managed to get such a poseable character there. I'm wondering if he's holding any of this stuff up by wires that he photoshops out later. It doesn't look like that, at least from this uh, kind of basic look, this first look at this dude. But personally, I like the yellow and black striped uh, pieces that kind of highlight certain aspects of the body and the choice of that Technic giant helicopter propeller blade for a sword uh, was a really good touch. Now I hope nobody gets too upset. I know Halloween has not yet arrived, but guess what? We're already starting to get Christmas builds and this one's really good, so I had to include it. This was built by J. Wan Lee and technically there's no name or title to this, so I'm just calling it Christmas present for obvious reasons. But essentially what we have here is a fun, nice, sweet little vignette of Santa delivering presents to a nice little living room and there's a fire and everything's lit up which is actually a really nice touch and the vignette itself has been built in a clever Christmas present stand. This, if the builder was giving this to somebody for the holidays, I would be super stoked. This is an excellent build. It looks amazing and it looks like a lot of thought, care, and effort went into the design and creation of this little project. Personally, I like the uh, build for the floor and I'm kind of curious to see how he got this thing all lit up. My guess is that there maybe is an external uh, little battery pack hooked into the back or something from behind and that's why you only see it from this one angle. And that is an awesome, awesome build, but now I have to switch over to what I thought was my favorite from the week, which isn't so much a favorite new build necessarily, though the Scopa VTOL is uh, a very, very cool mechanical build. But in general, this is actually just a new designer, Gary, that I just discovered and I'm absolutely following now. His flicker is full of a ton of Warhammer 40,000 builds, but just has all kinds of awesome creations. Uh, it looks like pretty much all of them are rendered. I don't really mind. This is just an amazing designer that now after looking through his flicker, I can tell that I've probably seen these builds at some point before in the past, but just didn't follow way back then and never ran into his stuff again. But there's some awesome mechanical creations. I really like the Space Marines. And like I said in the beginning, uh, don't do this for just Gary, but I do highly recommend you check out these guys' flickers in the description below, because if you liked anything you saw here, guaranteed you're gonna like more of the cool creations that they've already posted up uh, in the past. With that, it is now time for the LEGO Fan Mocks of the Week, and thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault.
Hey everybody, just popping in very quickly, like to let you guys know we've got ourselves a Lego web store that is www.brickvault.toys where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly high quality Lego mocks. It's absolutely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel as well as the designers that put these amazing builds together. So anyways, that's www.brickvault.toys. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time at Brick Vault.